story. Now, Johnson & Johnson facing another setback, but says it will still reach the number of doses it promised. The FDA shut down production of the company's vaccine at a Baltimore plant where quality control issues ruined 15 million doses earlier this month. It comes after the agency inspected the emergent biosolutions plant last week. J&J &J delivered about 18 million of the 100 million doses promised so far. The halt comes just days after the vaccine was put on hold over concerns about its possible link to deadly but rare blood clots. Happening today, the federal vaccination site at Gateway Mall will once again offer first doses of the Pfizer vaccine. People have not been able to get first doses there since last week when Johnson & Johnson shots were paused, you'll remember. News for Jackson reporter Ashley Harding joins us live outside Gateway. And Ashley, thousands of first doses will be available. That is true. Jen and Bruce, good morning to you both. Up to 3,000 first doses of the Pfizer vaccine will be, be available here at Gateway every single day. Looking live here, kind of a slow start to the morning. You know, they only opened about 12 minutes ago. There's a handful of people who are in there now getting their vaccines. But, you know, this could all change, though, as these hours move forward, especially with the first doses of the Pfizer vaccine now being offered starting today. It's been a week since the surprise pause of the Johnson & Johnson single-dose shot amid concerns about possible blood clots. Starting today, the Gateway Mall is going back to its original plan of offering first and second doses of the Pfizer vaccine to supplement the pause. The state says it's still waiting for further instructions on developments with the Johnson & Johnson vaccine and as that guidance becomes available, the 3,000 dose per day capacity could change. Dr. Anthony Fauci predicts the Johnson & Johnson pause could end later this week and vaccinations could start once again. The federal vaccination sites in Orlando, Miami and Tampa will also start giving first doses of the Pfizer vaccine. And like the one here in Jacksonville, they could switch back to the Johnson & Johnson option once more guidance become available. The federal satellite sites, Regency Square Mall, the Legends Center, Edward Waters College, and Celebration Church plus participating retail pharmacies are still options to get vaccinated as well. And once again, Florida residents 16 and older can get their vaccines. Of course, the, of course, the Pfizer vaccine right here at Gateway. Appointments are not required. Reporting live this morning, Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station.